tribe. Welcome to the house of Kai. Today's our medicine oracle read. Let's, uh, let's see what the medicine says today. Let's see what the medicine says today. I was shuffling and I continually, continually cut the deck about four or five times at the same exact card, uh, which is quite rare. So that was, uh, let's see what, what comes up. Um, yeah, powerful, powerful medicine at hand. And uh, let's see. I pray you are well. I pray you are well and wonderful. We are in, whew. wow, this season is so cool. This season is so cool. The uh, spring, as it's opening up, has really shifted a lot. Yeah. So, That feels right. I was told to cut the deck, and that would be my card. 19, Shikana. It's time to cross the threshold. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. There she is. Sitting in this interesting vibration of the vibration moving through her, her face is just this one of like, almost like pure enlightenment. <clears throat> but there's all these moving and spinning wheels surrounding her, causing her to go into that direction. So to me, there are many spokes on the wheel and that is how we move forward, right? Where in order for us to move through, we're not doing it alone there is this amazing energy being driven through her. It's not just her. There are channels of energy that are moving through her in order for the threshold to be crossed. Uh, and I just see her in this, she's very focused. She's glowing, absolutely glowing. Wow. That's beautiful, excuse me. Choo! Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but allergy season is like intense right now. Um, yeah, I live in a very treesy area and the, uh, the pollen is so thick, I, I need to power wash my, my, my porch. It's, it's green. <laughs> it embedded in the, um, the wood so much. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But I wouldn't change it for the world. I absolutely love Mother Nature doing her thing. Um, you know, in order for, you know, when people complain about the pollen, I laugh because it's the cycles of life. Without it, we wouldn't be eating. So I'm not going to complain that I have allergies. I'm just going to accept the fact that I sneeze, I have runny nose, I... So I'm congested, we're good. There are plenty of things you can do and that I do do that uh, take care of those things. I just don't take any of your regular medicines and drugs. That's not my thing. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm laughing because probably for at least 20 years now, my mama has literally, well, God, I say 20 years. Since I was a child, when I was a little child, my mother used to um, give me pseudofedramine or pseudofed, pseudofed. And at the time, they didn't realize that it had like a drowsy effect. And she just kept giving it to me like candy, like every day take this little red pill. Every day take this little red pill. And sometimes twice a day, like she couldn't stand handling, hearing me congested. So she just kept feeding me these allergy medicines. <laughs> I laugh because when I was a child, she'd yell at me. She'd be like, why are you so tired? <laughs> years later she literally <laughs> she apologized saying how sorry she was <laughs> for drugging me <laughs> and then yelling at me <laughs> I 
is so funny. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this with me. Oh, uh, that was so, so funny. So it's, that tears me. <laughs> Definitely. Um, plus I know, I know that the majority of those medicines are not, all they're doing is suppressing the mucus. And I would rather the mucus come out of the body. I have found that mucus is like the glue that holds the shit inside, right? So when the body naturally drains of its toxins, you want mucus and all that crap to come out of you. So I don't uh, suppress it with drugs and medicine. It's not my thing. Um, and so I will eat you know, raw ginger or raw garlic or anything that will, um, you know, cayenne pepper. I'll do a lot of crazy things to help get that out of my body. And so, <laughs> that was just awesome. Oh, thanks for coming back to my flashback. That was fun. Um, <laughs> so if you have allergies or just look into that, there are many different things we can uh, take other than, other than drugs and medicine. Um, <laughs> like that we can take more natural remedies uh, and if you have any natural remedies that you recommend please leave them in the comments below clearly i'm supposed to ask that question if you have natural remedies that you recommend for allergies then leave them in the comments below so that i uh, can check that out and see if they'll benefit me okay i would appreciate that seeing that i live in a very pollinated place and so um as we're speaking <laughs> Many spinning wheels moving us forward. Crossing the threshold, crossing the threshold and moving forward, right? I, you'll hear me say that throughout all of my videos, moving forward, moving forward, and we're moving forward. As we move forward, we want less and less baggage, less and less baggage. And oftentimes what can happen is there are, I keep hearing, contracts, right? Um, agreements with other beings, uh, consciously or unconsciously, that we've made. So before we come to this plane of existence, we often make agreements that we're going to play on a role, that we're going to, um, you know, teach people lessons on the journey. Excuse me. And we are at a time where those contracts are null and void. Yeah, all contracts have been null and void. However, if you do not take the initiative to clear those contracts, um, to actually do some energetic work around it, sit, breathe, visualize, do the energetic contractual clearing, then you will continue to play out those contracts, whether they're existent or not. Um, very powerful to know that. So as we're moving forward, isn't that interesting it's coming up like this? As we're moving forward, maybe that's what we need to really work on. And I have actually been recently contacted by a very dear friend to host a class where we do um, contract clearing. And it's really interesting. Some of you may have um, watched the video of my dearest of friends having passed. Um, she was brilliant. It was her. Uh, it was her pride and joy of work, of doing the uh, contractual clearings, and um, I'm going to be utilizing her work. Yeah, I'm going to pull from what it is she taught me with that to do this work. So, if you are interested in contract clearing, please make a message down below so I can personally reach out to you and let you know that uh, when we're having that class, okay? We will most likely do it via like a Zoom or something like that. Uh, and yeah, we don't want to take that baggage with us. A lot of the things we agree to no longer stand. And unfortunately, some of the agreements we made were made with not all the facts given to us. They were there was levels of like contractual manipulation taking place. And so it is up to us to clear them. They're no longer, um, they're no longer active. They're null and void. They're null and void. Anything that was created outside of love, anything that was created in greed or uh, lies, any untruths has been canceled. Yeah, 
So if the contract was made in pure love, then you know you can choose to hold on to that, and most of us will. Uh, however, if the contract was made out of greed or manipulation, um, those are null and void. So I strongly recommend clearing all contracts. Um, so message me. I would love to have you there for that class. It's powerful shit. Powerful shit. And uh, yeah, it is just rooted in, rooted in alchemy. So I would love to have you there. Yeah, we do all sorts of things. All sorts of things. So cool. All right, so. Ooh, ooh, is that, you're saying yes. Um, saying yes. So uh, the next card is patterns. And so isn't it interesting that this and this, so clearing patterns. Patterns are contracts. Patterns are agreements, right? So if you look at, let's say, uh, I'm not too concerned about some of the images other than look at the patterning, okay? Look at the patterning in that card. Is there any guarantee that all of those patternings are rooted in love, pure? that the patterns serve the higher purpose, right? Are they patterns that are leading us on our path to where we are meant to go, to the highest degree, right? So, and look at this, I mean, just, there's a deep pain holding on to patterns. There's a deep pain. She looks so, it's almost like demons are being ripped out of her heart as she's, <clears throat> it's difficult to see because the lighting, but her hands are here and she's coming in and you almost think she's protecting it, but she's really ripping it open. She's ripping open her heart and you can see like eyes of different animals and creatures coming out of her and her face is just burdened, burdened and pained. So ripping through the heart, right? No longer holding on to these old patterns that no longer serve us, right? So there are elements that are moving us forward. There are definitely healthy patterns. There are healthy patterns, and then there are very unhealthy patterns. And so determining which ones are which and fueling the healthy ones and starting to break th fr through, excuse me, break free of the unhealthy patterns that, um, they did tell me that, didn't they? Whew, is that the, no, okay. Um, break through the unhealthy patterns to clear our way forward. You know, to cross the threshold, we must break through those unhealthy patterns. Um, without judgment, without judgment, you are not, do not define ourselves by anything, you know what I mean? Define yourself by who you are from within. Um, not from a status, not from uh, income, not from your clothes, not from uh, any anything outside of who you know your soul to be. Um, and, and don't listen to the voices that tell you that you're less than, that you're less than a child of the light. Just don't. That's all bullshit. Yeah. So they're telling me, they're telling me there's a second card here. Good. Okay. Ooh, okay. Perspective. Looking at things from a new perspective, right? So in order to change our patterns, to change, we must start to look at things from a different perspective. And so this angel is impregnated looking at the earth here. Uh, but with this universal energies all around her. I'm sorry when the light, hmm, let's see if we can shift that. Let's see, let's see. Better, better, better. There we go. So this light is just, she's focused on the moving forward and the healing. 
So in order for us to clear the unhealthy patterns, we must focus on that which is healthy in fueling us. And I know that's not always easy. I know that when we allow ourselves, if we feel, you know, weighted, I think I said this in a recent video, and I know I said it, is that we don't eat for, well, it is in our best interest to not eat based off of how we currently feel. It is best to focus on how you want to feel. And so feeding and fueling and keeping focus on the ideal vibrations versus that which keeps us in the lower, denser vibrations. So, I mean, you're going to move forward regardless, right? That you can move forward with bricks on your feet and chains, you know, or you can break free of them and we can change those unhealthy patterns, right? And it is about perspective. It is about accepting. It is about accepting a new perspective. Um, oof. All right. I love it. And so as I shuffle, this card tells me this is the one. And uh, achievement. Oh my goodness, I just love it. Ganusha the man in this picture. Ganusha is like, he's got two gorgeous chicks on both sides of him. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. Check out Ganusha. <laughs> he's most definitely achieved. He is achieved in this picture, has he not? Look at him. He's all, all vibing with two chicks. Right? And I don't know if you know about Ganusha, but Ganusha has four arms. He has four arms. Two of his hands are over their head holding space, and the other two are on the shoulders. Ganusha the man in this. So crossing thresholds into achievement by keeping focus, right? By keeping our focus um, on the perspective of what it is we are moving towards, what it is we want, not on what it is we don't want. And if that, if that which we don't want keeps showing up in our face, then that's a patterning we need to look at. There's a, is there a contract connected to that? Is there a, um, a tie of some sort? So any sort of like uh, attachments and stuff like that can be linked into soul contracts. Uh, it can also be linked into people attaching to us. I actually had uh, someone I dated a long time ago actually say to me, I said, you know, I, I, I feel like you tethered, it's like we were on two separate boats and you tethered your boat to me. And they literally said, they said, yes, I did. They said, you had so much energy that I just sucked as much out of you as I could. When I felt weak and depleted, I literally would just suck it out of you. Interesting, right? So that, of course, was after we had broken up. Um, what a gift for the knowing and the insight um, because that was, that was huge to know that the experience I had throughout was real. Um, sad that it happened, <clears throat> excuse me, and hmm, but very insightful. And so, after knowing that full well, and, I, and even before that, I was clearing, excuse me, attachments to all of that, things that I felt that person had attached to me. And so afterwards, I went in even deeper and removed all cords of energy. People say cut cords, don't ever cut a cord. Don't ever, ever cut a cord. You unroot that shit. Yeah, so if you went into your garden and saw some dead leaves on a, on a tree or something like that, if you just cut it, the root is still in there. That root's gonna mess with you, right? If you're not paying attention, you're gonna trip over it. Um, it may not, you know, maybe some new leaves grow off of it, which basically means somebody else is now attached to you through the same um, pattern and pathways, right? And it may not be what you want. Um, I know some trees grow better that way, but. In this example, you want to go in and get the dead roots out because these are leeches attaching to you. And so breaking free of patterns, you want to unroot what was connected in there that was depleting you. So, whew, yeah, beautiful. And 
just such powerful medicine. Powerful, powerful medicine. Um, I apologize, I wanted to keep on more directly of the reading going back and looking over and I just smirked and smiled as I was like, gonna wish him a man. Gonna wish him a man. Look at that dude. Reaching achievement. I hope you can see this. Look at that. Let's do this. Right? What I like too is the level of balance. So there are two women on either side of him, both holding lotus flowers. And in that, one is wearing a green dress with the, like a red sarong, and the other is wearing a red dress with the green sarong. So very much a representation of balance. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So what I'm hearing is the medicine of the day <laughs> is um, removing cords of energy and blockages. Anything that's holding us from moving forward. You know, if the wheel itself had rotted spokes, you're not going to trust that wheel, are you? Maybe. Wouldn't it be better to remove the rotted spokes and replace them with something healthier? Maybe. So, let's see. What is our final card for our read today? Ooh, very fiery energy. Very, very fiery energy. So again, if you're interested in any of the uh, classes I will be putting out there, I'd love your information so I can contact you. So uh, removing of soul contracts, canceling of soul contracts. And so I'll tell you, I've done this so many times and it is the most healing and rewarding thing you can do. Yeah, it truly, it is so powerful. It is so flow and powerful, I love it. And so, let's see. Two more shuffles, I am told. Two more shuffles. Two, two, two. Let's see. amazing and because that's exactly what happens when you remove old contracts rebirth how gorgeous is that look at all of those colors look at all of those colors you know you can't really see it in the the card yet her hair is just lit on like fire and colors. And her hand is a, is a, um, it almost appears to be like a dagger, but it's, it's actually a leaf. And it's all rainbowed colors. Coming out of the womb, this rebirthing of energy as we free ourselves of this chains that bind. Workshop soon. Workshop soon. I will set that forth. Um, I am so happy a friend recently asked that of me. And uh, I will absolutely make sure I connect you all to her too. She's an amazing uh, international um, psychic medium. Uh, just unbelievable woman. Uh, the whole reason I even, you know, one of the, not the whole reason by any means, but a very powerful impact of messaging came through her specifically, um, which shifted my whole world, yeah, my move, you know, and everything else. So Pat Olson, she's amazing. So I will uh, make sure that people are connected to her too. If you need a psychic medium at all, um, I would recommend her. Yeah, I, my intuitive skills 
are different, um, just simply different. So, yeah, she's just a badass. She's a badass. So, okay. Yeah, we are, whew, well, crossing thresholds, huh? So it looks like we have a little bit of work here to do. We need to dig in. We need to get very focused. We need to look through new lenses, right? Or check the lens that you're looking through. That might be even more important for people right now. Check the lens you're looking through. And if there's lacing of any fear in that or low, denser vibrations, you ain't in love. You are not in the vibration of love. And so getting very centered uh, so we can move forward because this, this has to change. This right here, let me get this for you. This patterning, I, I, I need you to see her face. It is, it is painful. Let's see. That is a painful, painful image. Okay, so changing these patterns to step into rebirth. Wow. Oh, that's some good shit. That's some good shit. All right, tribe. If you, uh, if you like the message today, please like, share, and subscribe. I would love that. And um, yeah, leave me some messages below. Uh, Feel free to ask some questions, but I would love to hear your responses to having a, um, a class on uh, soul contracts and us clearing them. It's time. It's time. Yeah, they're no longer relevant. And anything that was created outside of love, authentic love, has no roots. So if you keep playing out soul contracts that were rooted in something that you might not know. You might not have any idea that this pattern is playing out for you. You might be guilting yourself, shaming yourself, blaming yourself for whatever. And the whole reason is that the contract was rooted in lies, keeping you in a perpetual loop. So let's find out. Let's find out. Yeah. All right, y'all. Peace out, Trav. I'll talk to you soon.